decades, people have been fascinated with a phenomenon known as an orb. Now, it's believed that orbs are the remnants of us after we die, that it's the last bit of ectoplasm that contains consciousness that floats around and appears from time to time in our photos and in our videos. But are these actual all orbs? Or are they other types of phenomena going on when we take a picture or when we take a video? Stand by, because that's what we're going to talk about. Here we go. the channel. I am Philip Page. Look, if you like this type of content, if you enjoy the possibility of life after death or, or creating a thought process about what may happen once we die, then go ahead and hit like and hit subscribe and check out my videos and stay tuned for future videos that I'm going to be making on this topic. Now, we've talked about orbs before. I have shown orbs in some of my videos and, and I get emails and videos all the time from people who say that they have captured the orbs. What I want to do is I want to run some experiments and show you guys what can happen in a photo or a video that make us think that we've captured something compared to an actual orb. Alright, so now I'm going to stop talking. Let's get into it. Sometimes it's difficult to tell if what we are seeing is that of an orb or some other anomaly. In all my years, I've only caught what I think may have been a handful of actual spirit manifesting as an orb. Take for example these shots taken from the Mob Museum which show deliberate movement within a room. Unlike dust or snow which will flurry in mass until they fall to the ground. Is there anybody in this room who wants to talk? Is there anybody um, connected to this chair? If you are here, can you make a tapping sound on this glass? This example takes place in my furnace room, which is adjacent to the basement. I have with me a small blanket that Buddy, my dog, has laid on. Using only one infrared camera and light, I film myself stirring up the dust. The floating objects could be thought of as orbs by the untrained eye. However, there are a few things to notice. One, they do not move in any intelligent pattern. And two, they are not self-illuminating. When the infrared light hits the particles, the particles in turn reflect the light back, making them appear as if they were floating spirits. With adrenaline going during an investigation, it's easy to think these as being spirits. If we compare the dust particles to these two glowing objects okay, we recorded in Pahrump, Nevada, they float diagonally down, then make an abrupt right turn. Down the in my opinion, showing intelligent What's movement. Same as what we can see here at the Mob Museum. On this glass. If this were dust, it would have fallen down and floated away instead of shooting straight up towards the ceiling. Now, of course, orbs in video is one thing to see it move and be able to analyze it. But what about those images that we see inside of still photos? All of us have seen those pictures with the floating blobs uh, in the images and people swear up and down that they caught an orb. Did they? There is a phenomenon in photography known as lens flare. What that is, is any time there's any kind of light that leaks into the lens, it travels through the different elements of the lens and creates these little round dots. 
that look like orbs. Now, I'm not saying that's always the case. What I am suggesting is that when we are looking at these photos, when we're looking at these videos, that we have a more objective eye, that we ask questions. How was the photo taken? What time of day was it? Um, do you have a, a, and most people aren't gonna have these, but do you have a lens hood on your camera? All my cameras have some sort of a lens hood, whether it's on my DSLR, it's if it's on my actual film cameras, or if it is on my cell phone. I always have a lens hood to try to minimize any of that glare coming in. So whenever we see a photo, whenever we see a video, let's make sure that we're analyzing it properly and that we are not confusing something for something else. Okay, guys, I hope this helps out. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, go ahead and put them down in the comment section below. If you disagree with this, that's fine. Let me know. If you do agree with it or if you found it interesting, let me know. All right, guys, I want to thank you so much for your time, and I will see you next time. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.